Earlier, I talked to Xu Yansong, Director General of the Asia Pacific Space Cooperation Organization. Well, I think uh, Shenzhou 15 achieved many things, including the first uh, six crew on board. That means that the, a, a test and validation of the life support system for six instead of three. And also, we have uh, the Shenzhou 15 uh, completed the construction and commissioning of the space lab, which includes the application of different uh, experiments. Uh, these are all done by the Shenzhou 15 crew. And also, they validated the T-shaped three modeling um, uh, stability of the spaceship. So the space station is, uh, is sustained and it's ready for application. Chinese authorities proposed to build its own space station around the 1990s. How important is the space sector for China? Well, I think the manned space program has always been the crown jewel of the space program. Uh, the 1990, we have started the what we call three-step uh, manned mission. The first step is, of course, to build a, a capsule that, are, that is capable of launching a man to outer space and came back safely. That was, uh, was completed by the Shenzhou 5 uh, and Mr. Yang Li Wei being the first astronauts from, from China. And then that was uh, continued by the, uh, the construction of the Tiangong uh, Space Lab, uh, which performed the EVA uh, validation and rendezvous and docking and space fueling. That is, lays a solid foundation for the construction of the Chinese space station. And then we have seen that the configuration of T-shape, including uh, Tianhe and Wentian Mengtian Space Lab has been completed by the Shenzhou 14 and 15 crew, and we're currently in the state where we, the Space Lab is ready for applications, including inviting international astronauts on board. And China vows to build a space station on the moon by 2030. It is earlier than the U.S. plan to do the same. So do you see it as a competition? Well, I think the uh, U.S. started with the uh, inter international uh, coll collective effort and also the Artemis mission is to build a, a science lunar uh, a space station first and then they have uh, a plan to, to land on the surface of the moon by uh, by the year 2024 but that was somehow delayed because of the US domestic programs but the Chinese program is certainly a different approach we have started from the Chang'e mission which is the lunar orbiter lunar lander and lunar sample return mission this has been successfully demonstrated by the in particular the Chang'e 4 and Chang'e 5 with Chang'e 4 landing on the far side of the moon unprecedented for human history and Chang'e 5 successfully bring back 1.7 uh, plus kilos of samples from lunar surface. And what can China's accelerating space exploration contribute to the rest of the world? Do you think we're going to see more international cooperation between China and some other countries? I think the cooperation has never stopped, uh, even though we have some obstacles with NASA, but we have cooperations on the lunar explorations. On the scientific side, we have always shared data to the international community including the samples that we have collected from the lunar surface, which was not been done for the past 40 years. And that sample has been shared openly to the international community. And also we're inviting international payload and instruments on board the Chinese station.